right, if you've got a sweet tooth or maybe 32 of them, like I do, then Candy Bar Waikiki should have something for you. And of course, Dirk, you know all about it all too well. You're joining us this morning to tell us what we have here later well, on. Well, I, I, I know it's early in the morning, so uh, I, and you guys will probably already have your, <laughs> have your coffee for the day, but that's a bacon toffee bit. That, that's bacon toffee? Well, yeah. then that's the one that I'm going to be yeah. eating in just a second. Why don't you tell us? I know you guys just opened recently. Why don't you tell us more about your establishment? Well, yeah, we, we're locally based, so we've been open just five months. And actually, I know KATV came by uh, when we first opened. That was great. Um, it's been just a wonderful experience. I just really didn't ex uh, realize uh, how, how much of a, a void there was down there in Waikiki for a candy shop. And sort of that was sort of the dream of why we first went in and, and developed this concept for Waikiki on now, Waikiki Beach. Now, of course, everything from chocolate to, to just, I mean, look at the giant gumballs. I mean, those are just crazy. Uh, what, what can folks find down there? Well, we have actually about over uh, 400 different types of uh, candies in bulk and packaged goods. So um, you're mentioning the uh, drawbreakers. Kids love the drawbreakers. We'll have kids that will come down during their visit and they'll show us. They'll say, hey, look how far I've gotten on my jawbreaker. And, and it's fun. So you know what? Um, both adults and kids can find all sorts of sweets there. So it's, it's awesome. We have packaged product for omiyagi and gift giving for um, the visitors that you can see is here, um, here as well, and uh, there's definitely um, uh, treats for everyone. Now, I think one of the cool things is that you also have specials all the time, and you have a special competition on Saturday night. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. <laughs> so at nine o'clock, we have a bubble gum blowing contest, and we have everyone come in at eight thirty, get their gum. And uh, you have to chew it for a little bit. Sounds like and it could get messy. It can get messy. We had a little girl actually think she had to blow the gum, so that was <laughs> that was pretty funny. But um, yeah, so that starts at nine, and we have a little measuring device, and uh, we have lots of different throwdown sisters against sisters, and all sorts of things. So it's pretty fun. And you said there's also a happy hour. You can't have a bar without a happy yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah. We we actually are in the midst of bars. Um, but uh, yeah, so every every day typically we have a happy hour between four and six, and we have a, a discount there where people can come in and get discounts, 15% off of the bulk candy, and it's great. Yeah. Very cool stuff, Dirk. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.